I think we are very stimulated, but not from the right things. <laughs> uh, we are very stimulated, but from, from human things all the time. I think uh, we know very little from Earth itself and from the planet and how it works and how, and how other species, uh, uh, how they do to survive. So I feel that maybe we need to focus in, in other things. And we all, all the time, I think for many, many, many years, we've been changing the environment and the planet itself, you know, to live ourselves more comfortable and do it in our own way. And maybe it's time to change a bit this dynamic and, and maybe change ourselves and design ourselves in order to, to adapt better actually to our planet needs. So I was uh, studying choreography and dance and I realized that there's many movements that happen around us that we don't perceive. So I needed, if I unite myself with technology, maybe we could perceive this imperceptible movement. So I wanted to perceive movement in a deeper way and I did different projects about the speed of the people walking and then also the presence I have behind. But then I wanted to perceive a movement that actually didn't depend on people. And I was like, okay, if I would be alone in the planet, could I perceive movement? And then I realized that actually the Earth itself is moving, not only rotates by itself around the sun, but it shakes constantly through earthquakes. And I thought it would be fascinating because it's uh, maybe the most primitive movement I can think of. And it's a huge a natural movement and most of the time actually imperceptible. So this is when I started the, the creation of the seismic sense. So the sense of feeling the seismic activity of the planet in real time. So I, uh, I had it in different ways, but uh, the, the last thing I had it, it was some implants in my feet that were connected to online seismographs. And whenever there was an earthquake somewhere on the planet, I would feel a vibration inside the body. And depending on the intensity, the vibration I would feel is, was a stronger or less strong. It was like a personal thing no? that I, I almost, I, I had this sense for almost seven years. So it felt like I wanted to to go a step beyond, I was like, okay, uh, how can I change, how can I keep changing my perspective? And I, I, yeah, I guess I needed a change and this was like the thing I did to, to start this. Um, many things in my personal level changed in my perspective and this was, I guess, the last thing I needed to, to kick. But it's something very personal. I don't think, uh, I still love the idea. And I, the thing is that when I took it off, I was like very scared and it was weird because I was more scared to take them out than to take them than to put them in. And because I thought it would really change and then I realized it actually it didn't change that much because I already established this connection with the earth. It really changed my mind and my perspective. And then and then I had this phantom effect also that I, I took the implants out, but they still feel uh, felt some vibrations because I had it for so long that I, I still felt the, the vibration inside me. I guess it will fade away now, but uh, uh, it made me experience another what, what, what's going on like after, after the implants, you know? like that I still feel this input. So for me it's all an experiment and, and it's exciting. And then I want to also to work on other, on other ways to, to share these, these feelings that I have, uh, these ideas about the Earth. I, I, think, I don't think everyone should become a cyborg, but I think everyone should have the freedom to become a cyborg, for sure. And I would encourage uh, people to do it, for sure. And for me, the, the exciting thing or the wish that I have is that it just, it's, uh, there are many ways of uniting to technology and I have that it's interesting in a very specific way. For me, it makes sense to unite the technology if it actually helps you to understand better the planet, if it connects us to the Earth, if it connects us to other species. For me, I mean, yeah, there's many people that have, for example, these implants and they can open doors or they can pay the bank. And this doesn't fulfill me at all, but it, I, I'm not against it. It's just like, I, I do it in a very specific way and I encourage people to, to do it in that way for sure. And for me it's exciting because I think there's many things that happen around us that we don't perceive that everyone can decide what they want to perceive. For example, for me was, I end up with a seismic sense because I work with movement, but I mean, I have another friend who 
experience like the atmospheric pressure to feel the weather, have another friend who transforms color into sound waves, another friend that uh, he wants to perceive the cosmic rays, the rays that come from space. So there are so many things that I think this is the beautiful thing about it, that everyone can decide how they want to perceive the reality. And I imagine a future, a future that will be much more diverse and then you can go to a bar and apart from asking where you're from, you can ask what sense do you have.